To balance this equation, we have copper 2 hydroxide and perchloric acid. So it's a neutralization reaction. And we're going to do a bit of a trick to make this easier to balance. We have this perchlorate ion, the ClO4. We have it here and we have it here. So we're going to count it as just one item. And that'll make it easier to balance. We won't have to keep track of all these oxygens. So let's count the atoms up and balance the equation. We have one copper. We have one oxygen times two. So two oxygens. Hydrogens, one times two two hydrogens, plus we have the one hydrogen here, so that gives us three. And then we have the perchlorate ion, ClO4. We have one of these. On the product side, we have one copper, one oxygen, two hydrogens, and then one perchlorate ion, the ClO4, times the two. So I have two of these ClO4 ions. Okay, let's leave the hydrogens till last and the oxygens till last. We have two here and one here. Put a two in front of the HClO4. So now we have the one times the two. We have two of those. That's balanced. Let's update the hydrogens. We have two times the one here, plus we have one times the two. So now we have four hydrogens. If we balance the hydrogens, it looks like that'll balance the oxygens as well. We have four here and two here. So let's multiply the water by two, two times two, that equals four, that's balanced. One times the two, that equals two, and that's balanced, and we're done. This equation is balanced. So two things here. If you have an ion like ClO4 that you see here and here, count it as one thing, then you don't have to deal with all these oxygen atoms. The other thing is it's usually helpful to leave the oxygens and hydrogens until last when you're balancing equations. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CuOH2 plus HClO4. Thanks for watching.